It's me, Jay Monius, and welcome to a new segment called Pixel Game Maker Tutorials 101, and I will be your guide, here to help you, watcher of the and user of this here program, to learn how to make your ideal game so that you may unleash it upon the world for all to engage in. First off, let me say that I too am learning how to use this complicated program as are many others, and we are hard at work at getting the groundwork and solutions made for using this complicated program, so please bear us in mind. Now with the disclaimer out of the way, let us begin. Lesson 1, making a new project. So then, you're going to make a new project, are you? Very well. Then I shall assume that you have the program open and have no idea what you're doing. Well, allow me as the guide to show you what must be done. On top of the program, you will notice that there are three tabs that you can select. Recent Projects, Create Project, and Sample. I will explain Create Project last for specific reasons. First, we will look at Recent Projects. As you can see, there are plenty of objects or projects that have been shown here already. You can just open these when you have a project already made and yeah it's self-explanatory really but the big the biggest one is here is the sample I will explain sample here this will allow you to preload an existing project that has been made by other developers of the program and people like you and myself who have donated to helping us Learn how the program works and how to do certain things. So if you need help figuring out what does what, you can just load up these sample games and you can just try them out. Even I have them on the recent project, so if you need them for figuring out, oh, how do I do this or how do I do that, yeah, just load them up. Example, I'll just load up Witch in the 66 Mushrooms. I'm still looking for those 65. Where's the rest of the game, damn you? And, yeah, you can just take a look, yeah, usual stuff, see what, how you do things, etc, etc, how objects, and what they look like, and all that, pretty cool thing they added, so you can learn to use the program, at your own pace, mind you, but anyway, now let's go to the, the meat of this. Creating a project, like the important part when you're beginning to start your project. This will allow you to create your own, but be forewarned. Pay close attention when you're creating your new project. Below the save location is a little part. Right? Yeah, that, 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 that part. Yeah, see? Yeah, good error. Yeah. It'll, it'll tell you if you want to create a blank project or not. Maybe if you do not click that link, it will preload two sample games. Which will be this game here, which is called Universe, which is a side-scrolling Mega Man hack and slash shoot 'em up, and the top-down sample game, which is a hack and slash top-down game. But there are also sample games which you can uh, I believe you can also load on the sample game stuff. Uh no you can't, but they 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 still exist as samples anyway, so if you need to load them instead, just do it by creating a new project and doing that. However, if you want to create a blank project, then make sure that you click on that. And then this, really, I don't really see if there's any point to that. I haven't really experimented with it not, but I'm pretty sure that when you create a blank project, none of these really matter. So just pick one of them and then you'll be put into here. The tile size. They will come in many numbers for you, but be forewarned, if you are importing images, you will need to make sure that they match the size of the tile sizes, or else you're going to start running into problems later on down the road. So, like for my game that I make, and I have it at 16 times 16, so adjust accordingly. Screen resolution. This will determine how big your screen will be when you're in test mode. You can even make it really big 
or really small. Your choice, really. But I prefer small, so I'm not blinded by pretty lights. <laughs> and then number of players. This will show how many players you intend to have in your game. So you can just have it like one or whatever. You can make it like Super Smash, which is possible to do in this, but yeah. It hasn't been... No one, ha no one has stepped in that territory yet, but hopefully someone will. Anyway. But, however, keep in mind, all of these options that you're setting right now, that you can change them anytime you want after you, once you make your new project. So, as shown, ta-da. Go to the settings, right there. Go to project settings, and then you can just reset anything that you didn't like earlier. So, there you go. And that's how your project has been created. A simple lesson. And that is all. When we come back, I'll explain more about how these work. Hope this will help you in beginning your project. And I will see you again. Farewell. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to Pixel Game Makers. Be sure to comment on what it is you'd like for us to cover as well. And check out PixelGameMakers.com as well. Thank you.